Thanks, Rachel. Well, as we've reported in our Rebound Idaho series, the Gem State is recovering from the pandemic faster than almost anywhere else in the country. In fact, earlier this year, Utah was the only surrounding state keeping pace with Idaho's performance. Economists say that's all in thanks to several factors, including rapid population growth. And this morning, Idaho News 6's Rebound reporter Natasha Williams shares the latest data from the Idaho Department of Labor. She joins us live in Boise. And Natasha, this is good news. Kristen, this is great news. So economists say that Idaho is actually the first state in the nation to have almost all of the industries recover and even exceed pre-pandemic levels. Um, FAIR is, has emerged from 2020 and the pandemic into 2021 as one of the least affected states in terms of job loss. Idaho is one of only two states in the entire country that have had positive year-to-year -year job growth. The average for the nation is still a, a rounded at 6% below where it was at the start of, you know, at February 2020. And we're 1.3% as of March um, above uh, where we were in February 2020. Experts say there's no one reason for Idaho's rapid rebound, but one thing's for sure. Well, it's just Idaho seems to have the, the magic ingredient, you know, has open spaces. It, it's, you know, it's already growing very fast before the pandemic hit. We're on a, a low unemployment. Our non-farm jobs kept uh, growing faster than what we always anticipated. And we always seem to have a, a steady influx of people moving into the state to keep that kind of growth going. Construction was one of the industries that had the most growth in Idaho last year, a full 7% of job gains. Economic experts attribute that growth to the housing boom, but say growth could have gone even further. Those numbers would pro those growth numbers we're seeing for those industries would probably be a little higher for Idaho if we had the right supply of workers um, uh, skilled workers that could fill those positions. As Idaho News 6 has reported, although there's been no shortage of job seekers in the past year, the demand for skill workers is up, according to data from the Department of Labor. But unfortunately, the actual skilled workers available to fill those positions is down. So coming up next week in my continuing rebound coverage, I will show you how the education system is stepping up to provide those skilled workers and fill that gap. But for now, live from the Idaho Department of Labor, I'm Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.